Left. <laughs> I think he went down. Hells yeah. <laughs> I think you got him. <laughs> All right, so the handgun drill we've been doing today, I'm now going to transition to doing uh, by way of shotgun. Now, this is my Remington 870 that I took down to front sight. I'm going to be running it in a sort of mock tactical scenario, just like we've been doing for pistol. We're going to have Joe coaching me and calling out targets for me. Crockett's on camera, and I'm going to be reloading. And at the end of this whole um, this whole line here, this whole course, I'm going to have to transition to slug for a more distant target. Again, this is going to be up to you to call out which of those two targets that I try to take out. Yeah, Remington 870. Let's go for it. Go! Black! White! Get your cover. You know, that could be one of those targets over there. Black. If you look at them, that, that black. There's also that that white one that's kind of, I don't know. Did you attack reload in. Get your cover. The small one! The one on the hook! Get your cover, do your tackle, love. Behind the white rock! Shoot her up! Shoot her on the left! Nice. Close to engage! How'd that shot feel on the slug, with the slug? Well, I hit it. Yeah. I didn't quite see where it went, but I did see pieces of lead flying everywhere. Did you? Yeah. yeah That's I couldn't pretty tell. cool. I couldn't tell where it hit, but uh, I tried to take my time with it that time and, you know, pay a little more attention, make sure that I was squeezing, not yanking, making sure I had all my fundamentals down, locked that into my shoulder, good cheek weld, all that stuff. And then a nice soft squeeze while my sights were aligned. And well, I, I like what you did when you came down to when you had to transition to slug, you came down to a knee, which I feel like would be a good position because you've got a little bit of concealment going on. Uh, your target size is a little bit smaller, and you're also able to transition to a little bit more accurate, you know, structurally sound shooting position. So right. that was pretty cool. Now, that was something the transitioning to knee in order to change to slug. That's not something that front sight taught us. Sure. They actually kind of taught the opposite. When it's, when it's time to switch to a slug, you do that first, then you take your kneeling position for stability. But sure. it's a dynamic situation for real, you know. So if you need to take cover, you take cover. And yeah. 
you know, maybe I needed to take cover right then. Who knows? You know, Who there's knows? lots of ways to skin a cat, but it ended up working out for you, so good job. Cool. You ready to run this, dude? Yeah, let's go ahead. All right. Four. Back target. Maybe stick with it. Hand. You can't see his hand. You don't know. God, God. Three. What's he doing? What's he doing? There's two guys. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell. It's just not very clear. Target. Okay, this time right target. And reload. Take a lazy walk down to one. <laughs> I was gonna say for a, I had a screw for one. <laughs> slug transition. Oh yeah, I forgot he had one. Okay, move up to that white rock. Transition to slug. I think he went down. Hells yeah. <laughs> I think you got him. <laughs> nice, and you're clear. Well done, dude. Dude, I'm out of breath, man. <laughs> Too many Twinkies for me. <laughs> man, you wouldn't know it the way you're moving. He took you over to four and then sent you right back to five, and you're like, whatever. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> That's a fun drill. Yeah. It's a really fun one. Yeah. Nice work. That uh, gives a funny sense of satisfaction seeing the target go down. Yeah. It's like a piece of steel, but when it goes down, you're like, I got that. <laughs>